All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do uh, activity 231A, uh, problem number uh, three. So, uh, as always, we're going to go ahead and follow the guess method. All right, so uh, determine the maximum load, that A, and we know the half-inch diameter rod can support. We want to determine load. We know this. And the rod must not exceed this, uh, 24,000 PSI. All right, so what do we know? Well, 24,000 PSI is our stress. And we know the diameter of the rod is 0 0.50 uh, inches. What we do not know is the load, which is either P or F, depending. Some people call it P, some people call it F. It's not really important. Uh, and the equation, well, we know stress equals uh, force over area, or sometimes F or P. Uh, so P is going to be the stress times the area, right? And we also don't know area. And area equals, we're given diameter, so uh, the diameter squared over 4 times pi. So let's go ahead and solve for area first. Um, and it's going to be uh, 0 0.50 squared divided by 4 times 3.14. And 0.5, half of a half is 0.25, divided by 4 is 0.125. But let's just make sure. Uh, let's go here, squared. Quit. 0.5 squared divided by 4 is 0 0.0625, sorry, times 3.14, which gives me 0 0.19625 as our area, and therefore our uh, force, or our pull, uh, will be uh, the stress, 24,000 PSI, times the area, and that's inches squared. Inches squared. Uh, the square inches will cancel, and it'll leave me with just a force in terms of pounds. 24,000 times the answer. And that gives me 4,710 pounds. Sig figs, two, Two, so 4,700 pounds if we're doing significant digits. All right, and that's how you do uh, number three. Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.